Turns out that subways and train stations in Japan are a hot topic. And rightfully so. I'm going to highlight three things. Number one, I was never personally groped on a train or subway in Japan. And none of the women in my tour were as well. The one thing I do know is that all Japanese cell phones make a sound when you take either a picture or a screenshot. And you can't turn the sound off. This feature was enabled around the year 2000 for privacy concerns because apparently they were having problems with men taking photos of women on subways. That's what I heard. Number two. Although the subways are so quiet, if you're a tourist and you are talking on the subway, no one is going to like shh you or look at you funny. Although it's probably disrespectful, everybody pretty much keeps to their own and doesn't really seem bothered by it. I hope. In the US, we have quiet cars and when you get caught talking there, boy does everyone get mad. It's nothing like that in Japan. Number three. I forgot to mention that the subways and trains have these safety barriers. They help prevent accidents or suicide attempts, and I think it's a pretty cool idea. We've been having a lot of problems in New York lately with people getting pushed into the subway, and we could use these barriers. I'm just gonna leave you guys with the shock of how clean the floors are on the subways in Japan.